First, as I said, very important distinction, symmetric versus asymmetric encryption. Uh, symmetric encryp encryption uses a single key that is shared uh, between all the parties that participate in, in the uh, exchange. In many cases in, in the enterprise, that's just one party, that's the enterprise. This is in case, for example, you want to encrypt the backup and then you want to be able to decrypt it. Uh, so there is one party that just needs to have a key that protects the particular piece of data. Uh, it is symmetric encryption is often used in conjunction with asymmetric encryption because uh, asymmetric encryption is slow, uh, and so in order to to have an efficient uh, communication of, of uh, traffic, for example, or any data, uh, asymmetric uh, encryption is just used to exchange a symmetric key securely, and then uh, the encryption itself is done in a symmetric way. Uh, AAS uh, is the standard. Uh, that practically everyone should use for symmetric encryption unless they're very well uh, aware of what they're doing. Asymmetric encryption, on the other hand, includes public and, and a private key. Uh, judging by the name, the private key should be kept really, really private and secret and protected, whereas the public key is out there uh, and uh, it can be and should be used by the other side uh, of the communication. Uh, it is very useful for multi-party communication. The obvious uh, thing is uh, browsing a website where you open a website and present its certificate uh, and thus some, some signing and uh, encrypting the, the session key with uh, DB Helm encryption. Uh, the popular algorithms are RSA and uh, elliptic curves, the various elliptic curves. Uh, and a third very important aspect of theft encryption that is uh, actually the most important one, uh, that's key management. Because any encryption scheme is as secure as the key. Uh, and the only thing that matters and that provides security to an encryption scheme is the key. Everything else is public. Everything else is uh, peer reviewed. Uh, implementations are, are public and, and scrutinized. So we shouldn't assume that encryption is uh, doing something in a secret way. Uh, doing something in a secret way is uh, security through obscurity and it should be avoided through cryptography. Instead, the only secret bit is the, is the key and that's why it has to be protected. Uh, that actually makes it the hardest part in the organizational context because managing keys in an organization uh, is uh, challenging. There is the option of uh, ephemeral keys in some scenarios. That those are keys that just live for a very short period of time and are then thrown away. Mm -hmm.